Hello Seekers of Magic and welcome or welcome back to my fairy queendom. And today is a special video as you can see from the title. This is my very first ultra tour on this channel. And I thought it's just the perfect time of the year. Autumn is around the corner. The trees start to change their dresses from green to yellow and golden and red and orange and brown. So I thought, yeah. This is the perfect time to just film a cozy altar tour and yeah i hope you enjoy grab some tea grab some coffee and then let's walk through my altar spaces and just a quick disclaimer before i actually show you around i said it in another video but just because i have something on my altar spaces does not mean that you need this as well to have an altar or to be a witch or anything like that because an altar is in my eyes the representation of your inner witch so you should always place something there that is meaningful to you that has a meaning for you and not something that you see always tune into your own intuition and your inner witch to see if this is like resonating with you if something resonates with you then by all means buy it or like get it but don't feel the need to get it just because I have it and I show it to you. This is really important to me. I also only buy secondhand. This is really, really important to me because I don't know. First of all, I want to save environment. I want to help Mother Earth. And I also tend to only build a connection to items that have a history so whenever I would buy something new, I would not be able to build up a connection to this item. But when this item is secondhand and I bought it in a thrift store or at a flea market, then I would have this beautiful connection to the item. So I felt that this is the sign to yeah, only go secondhand and it really resonates with me. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. You will see my favorite thrift store finds at all times or of all times in this video as well so i really hope you enjoy and we are starting off in this exact same spot because this is my favorite place in my whole apartment this is my desk and this is where i work this is where i do my diys so it's basically the place where i spend most of my time and it's not the most ideal situation, I have to admit, because whenever I work, I tend to get distracted and I want to do DIYs. And when I do DIYs, I keep getting reminded of things that I should do when it comes to work. But I still love this little corner. I have some items that are really dear to me and some of the items that I collected outside are here as well. I have a part of my crystal collection here. But yeah, I hope you enjoy. I will show you everything in detail. And then we go to my little botanical garden, as I love to call it. And I will show you that one as well. And I just thought I'm going to give you guys a voiceover because the audio really was not that good. And yeah, I really want you to enjoy this tour. And we start off in this little corner. It's my creativity wall is what I like to call it. And as you can see, there are some random sticks hanging out there. My neighbors always laugh and call me Gandalf from Lord of the Rings because I always bring home the most random sticks from the forest. I only take what fell down, so don't worry. And I just take what nature gifted to me. So there is also this kind of wooden thingy that I want to use in a DIY project and it is supposed to become a fairy reef is I believe what you call them. And then next we have when you turn a little bit to the left you can see my wall that I really love and we have a tarot card which is the ace of swords and we also have a postcard from a witch casket um, that reminds me to study herbs and to really embody my green witch because I love studying herbs and plants. I also have a picture of the moon because I love grandmother moon. There is a charm bag with an active spell inside and also my spirit animal pocket guide that I really love a lot. Okay, so next we have my Marbon drawing, which I really love. I think it turned out so beautiful. 
and I don't know what you see inside I started to see something so I tried to highlight it but maybe you can pause the video and yeah just tune into the picture and let me know in the comment section down below what you see because I know all of my friends saw something different but if you want to then I can tell you what I see for me it's a phoenix that rises from the ashes so I don't know I think it's it's really a cool drawing and I just really love it and also my astrology says that this autumn is really transformational for me and I can feel the energy I can feel the phoenix energy so this is really cool that this message showed up in a picture that was not intended and yeah really love it I love that it reminds me of just being creative for the fact of being creative is okay and it took me out of my head because I can be pretty rational so I try to get more into intuitive paintings because I just love yeah the fact of being intuitive and connecting it to art and I also have some dried lavender there because I really love lavender it's one of my favorite plants to use in my practice because I love the color the smell the qualities it really calms me down and I love that you can use it as a spray or as an oil. So yeah, lavender is really beautiful and I love to work with it. And right next to it, we have the hanger I made out of shells and pearls because I'm a Pisces sun, so I always need something that reminds me of the ocean and that represents the element water. So I really love it. And I put it on top of this wooden hanger where you can basically just put your herbs to dry so I just thought this is so beautiful and I love the yeah drawings on it I also have some random dried flowers hanging here and this cute little pin thingy so yeah really really love this place there is also my moon air card that I thought is really cute and then there is another postcard from the witch casket box that I thought is so cute because I just love the drawing style I think it's the cutest thing ever right all right and then our next stop on this journey is this little corner that is pretty dusty please excuse it but it's black so it basically turns dusty as soon as you clean it but I have this little piece of bark that I just love because of the color combination of the yellow and the green moss. I also have an hourglass there that I love and just some random stuff that I collect in the forest. This is tree sap I just found out while I was doing this voiceover and I put it into this cute little ball so now I have it here. I also have some dried rose buds there and some pine cones and I also always collect the feathers that I find so you can see them in there as well this little one is my absolute favorite I think it's just so cute I don't know which bird it is from but yeah I just thought it's the cutest thing ever I have a ton of feathers I keep finding them wherever I go so I just take this as a sign and this is basically my cabinet of curiosities is what I like to call it I also found this really weird piece of bark and now that I look at it it reminds me of an owl I don't know what do you think let me know in the comments down below but to me it looks like an owl doesn't it like a cute little owl <laughs> yeah but I don't know it's really interesting and yeah that's why I like to display it here all right and next we have this cute little cabinet that I thrifted and I put in some moss as you can see but also some blue fairy lights because I just love fairy lights and I feel like they make everything just more cozy and I love to display little jars in there as you can see but yeah I just love to turn this on in the like evening or at night time when I'm sitting here and have a candle on as well so yeah it just gives me this really beautiful magical feeling and I just really love it I also have this cute little paper book here that says shadow work and actually there were some cards inside that gave you inspirational questions to do the shadow work it was also included in a witch casket and I just love to keep the little explanation cards for the crystals and stuff in there 
and I also have some stickers in there as well that I think are just so cute they are these moth stickers and I never know what to do with stickers but in that case I had the perfect idea which was this project that I'm working on and that you will see in the near future. So thank you guys for helping me out here. We should talk way more often. But yeah, this is what I keep inside of here. And I also like to keep these boxes that come in subscription boxes or in orders to just keep my place yeah, tidy and I just try to keep it decluttered as much as possible. And before I decluttered this place so I could show you around, I also had some crystal pearls here and these were necklaces that I got pretty cheap and I cut them and took the pearls and cleansed them because they were pretty rusty and dusty. So I love to keep my pearls in these little storage spaces to keep my altar decluttered as much as I can, as good as I can. And I also have this cute little money jar that loves to sit on top of this little pentagram box but this is basically the money that I randomly find on the street and I decided to appreciate it no matter how much it is to show the money energy that I really appreciate and love it so it feels loved and likes to come to me I don't know I love to think in energies and I also love to collect these little glass jars so I can use them in jar spells and stuff so yeah they are also sitting with me there. I also have a lot of books there. As you can see, they are not necessarily witch related. I just love to keep them there because they work as visual reminders that I have a lot of books that I need to read and I don't need to buy any new ones until I read them. So yeah, this is that. And I also have this metal container where I burn incense and here you can see me. Hi, hello. And I also have my two shells and actually I use them in the wrong way. I would just use them as they are and then the surface would become damaged. And then when I started my shamanic retreat, my teacher actually showed me how to use them. So you put sand in there, the squat sand. And then when you put your charcoal on top or your incense then the surface of the shell will not be destroyed and this is a wooden stand that is keeping the surface that your shell is on to become too hot so this is pretty useful as well and I also have a random pebble that says love in German and yeah i love these visual reminders i also have a candle that you can dress yourself and i really want to get more into this magic to dress your candles or to write something on them and i also have this beautiful wooden box that i thrifted for four euros and i just think it is so cute and beautiful and i will show you what is in there so as you can see I have my herbs in there, this is red clover, there is some sage in it, some palo santo and I just love to store it in there. So yeah, I really really love this box and I think it is one of my favorite things at this place. we also have these two books that are always with me nowadays and I just put them away so I could show you around but I always have my journal with me that I love to have as a visual reminder because if I put it away I'm not going to use it and I also have this book that I just recently got and I really want to start being able to name trees to know which trees I'm working with or which trees have messages for me and I think it's just so beautiful if you can yeah, name the trees and maybe also distract the message from just the knowledge of what tree you are working with. And I already named some trees that I could not name before so that is amazing and I will definitely keep you guys updated on that when I'm back from my travels. I'm definitely using this book a lot so stay tuned for that. This is just a spell that came in a witch casket box and I love to keep them there 
and then we have also this beautiful key that also again came in a witch casket box but it is pretty special to me because it gave me the idea for a book so I love to keep it there and we also have these little guys and I love collecting them. I have a ton of them right now in different colors but I love that yeah you can just decide on a daily basis which color you are attracted to. So when I feel like I'm attracted to orange I'm going to wear this one. If I feel like I'm attracted to amethyst or like purple then I'm going to use this one. So they are just so much fun and I love collecting them. So yeah, you will definitely see me wearing these a lot. And then this is a part of my crystal collection that you can see here. I really love it. I love the colors. And we have some selenite, some fluorite. This is amethyst and aventurine. We have some citrine. This is a stone which shows the sign for intuition or like the third eye. And there is some more citrine and another amethyst. And this is also fluorite, fluorite, fluorite. This I don't know. And this is angel aura quartz. And I would guess that this is tourmaline or obsidian. And this is some crystal clear quartz. And yeah, I really love my crystal collection. And up there we have two little hangers that I did myself and I just love them. I love collecting these sticks and making hangers because when I have my witchy home and my witchy house I really want to hang them everywhere, I have dried herbs there like on every single wall. So this is my dream, my vision but yeah this is elderberry and I thought it looked so cute and cool. I don't know. I just love it. This is hazel and yeah, I really love making these, so they are pretty easy. And we have some dried corn that I just found the other day. And I wished I had these for Marbon already, but oh well. And then we have one of my most favorite things here on this shelf, which is this wand. And I made this myself. I got so obsessed with these wands recently. I keep collecting sticks so I can turn them into wands and I found this really beautiful one. I forgot to film the transformation because I didn't think it would turn out good because it was actually my very first one but I just love it and I love how whimsical it looks like it had been in the forest since centuries. There is some crystal clear quartz that looks like there is moss growing everywhere. I put stones in it so I don't know I just really really love it. And if you are interested, then let me know and I can show you in a video how I do them. They are not difficult and they are just so much fun. So yeah, I really, really love them. And again, we have sticks because I keep collecting them and I really love this one. It looks scary, cute at the same time. I feel like it looks like a skeleton finger and the other stick I really want to turn into another wand. And this is one of my favorite stick finds of all times when I first saw it I thought it's a skull but then I saw that it's a piece of a tree and this was actually empty inside but I just put this rose quartz inside so you could see through but yeah I feel like it looks like a unicorn I don't know it just reminds me of that but let me know again what you feel like it looks like to you and I don't know, it's just so beautiful. I want to turn it into a wand, but I'm afraid I'm messing it up. So yeah, I'm not using it as a wand right now, but I really, really love it. And then let me see what else do we have. We have this cute little plate that says, as I will it, so mode it be. And I just use it as a visual reminder that my manifestations are coming true. Then we have another angel aura quartz. I collect the feathers that I find and they are in this beautiful see-through frame. There is another crystal clear quartz that is actually the other half of this one right down there. And I also just recently rediscovered this beautiful inkwell and I'm so happy I can say the word inkwell because it sounds really whimsical. But it came with this beautiful pen and yeah, again, I'm using it in this project that is coming up and I'm really excited about it. Uh, 
and yeah I feel like you can tell what it will be but it basically will be a book of shadows like I really want to do my own and this is what you will see in an upcoming video so I hope you look forward to that and then we have another stick that I really think is so cool and I want to turn it into a wand we have a piece of dried corn and a mushroom and a candle holder and then we have this thing that I was really drawn to at a flea market and I said to the woman who sold it that no matter what it is I want to have it but please explain what it is and she basically said that it is to put in knives so it is a knife holder but I just like the look of it so I display it here and on top of that there is this cute little bell and yeah really love that one and this is one of my most recent finds from the woods and it is this beautiful piece of bark where some worms had a feast and I put some PVC glue on top so that the structure is more resistant and not like crumbling and I don't know it reminds me of a castle or a butterfly or like a fire so it has a lot of symbolism in it and that's why I love to keep it on top of my shelf In here I like to keep my special crystals and as you can see some of them have runes or symbols on them so yeah I really love these and I think they also came in the witch casket um, box but yeah I think they just look so cool and special in there and here you can see my little amethyst pyramid and this is my astrology dices this is I think hematite and I think this should be moonstone this is soda light and this is a crystal clear quartz with a sigil that stands for success and beside that there is also a stone with the fire symbol so I really love that and yeah this is the place we have a mushroom friend there as well, a shout out to our pumpkin friend but yeah I really really love this place, it is so inspiring to me and the shelf where everything is displaced is this beautiful black shelf that is from the 19th century the only disadvantage is that it gets dusty pretty pretty fast but nevertheless I really love it and this altar space really inspires me so much I love sitting here and working here are you angry you don't get attention hmm? are you angry all right and i thought i am including my little botanical garden as well because to me it is a sacred space it is an altar but yeah i really love it and as you can see i just have my favorite plants on top of my yeah one of my favorite shelves i feel like everything is a favorite but yeah up on the wall you can see my hanger and you already saw this in another video I keep my pins there and I made this myself and I think it's really cute this is an ornament that my late grandmother did for me and this little guy I made myself I basically just tied around the lace around the wooden thing I had feathers and dried flowers and it was as simple as that so yeah I think it turned out really really cute and right next to it we have this bamboo hanger and I really love it because of the geometrical shape and yeah I'm a Virgo <laughs> and there is some moon ornament as well but yeah I really really love this space and I feel like it's it really is like a botanical garden to me but yeah I love to keep my little plants here and I said this before I always buy the plants when they are really small 
and then I let them grow. This one as well was a teeny tiny one and then suddenly it started to grow like crazy and I feel like it likes the place. I love to keep the plants together because I feel like they enjoy being together, they enjoy talking to each other. So I don't know, I would feel sad if they are alone somewhere. But yeah, this is my botanical garden. And I really love this glass container and I bought it for you won't believe 2 euros on a flea market and it was a really stormy day so I feel like the woman just wanted to get rid of it so she does not have to bring it back home. I really love it. It leaks a little bit water so I have to repair it. I just found out when I put in the plants so I'm going to repair that but yeah other than that it's just perfect i love it and i definitely want to keep buying these glass containers <laughs> so this is the new home for this heart plant and these other plants i put in some crystals and this little guy he does not really like it in there but i saved him because actually my parents house have a lot of them but the birds keep like going through the soil in search for worms so these little ones always are at loss but yeah really really like it i love my pumpkin my pumpkin selection is growing by the day and i just yeah love collecting them and maybe just a little hack to save money for practical witches I love to ask my friends if they have plants that I really love but they are usually really expensive if I could make some plant offsprings if it's possible and again then I just let them grow into something beautiful and something big so this is what happens here so this is the magic and I like to use them also for magic so for example if I place them in soil I may include a ladder with a um, spell and a manifestation so this is definitely something I love doing and this one is really precious to me it's a stone that I received in my shamanic training that spoke to me and yeah I received the kind of task in a shamanic um, journey that I should paint him and he really enjoyed being colorful and the color does not really show up on camera that well it looks much better in real life but he's really precious and i love him and yeah i love having him here and yeah just bringing a little bit color to the place and this one you already saw i feel like this is also a curiosity i don't know if it reminds me of a bird or a caterpillar not a caterpillar you know the stage after the caterpillar before they turn into a butterfly so I feel like this may be a message that yeah I'm also in this kind of stage where I'm not really the butterfly but not the caterpillar it's weird but yeah you know you get what I mean right but this is my sacred space it really reminds me of grounding myself it represents the element earth and water to me so yeah it definitely is a sacred space to me and when you look down from there you see one of my most favorite thrift store finds ever i know i keep saying it but it is just like that and it is this beautiful storage and it was about 50 euros so not that cheap but i really love everything about it and i feel like this is a one of a kind piece that you will find once in a lifetime and yeah just really love it you can open these drawers so there is storage space inside i have some oracle cards yeah that i don't know where to put elsewhere i also have some random decoration stuff that yeah i still had and there is some incense um, sticks inside there is sand inside so yeah, I just keep some random stuff in here that I cannot store elsewhere, but it has a beautiful home. And I also have these cute little acorns. And again, in this part of my shelf, I have some random things. This is like stuff for the kitchen that I want to use. Um, I have some Ostera things like decoration items that I'm going to display when it is 
one of my favorite times of the year again but yeah really really love this shelf and then my puppy decided that it is time to play and as you can see in the background she keeps stealing socks and I know she's looking really cute and tiny but believe me she's really scary when she is destroying these socks but yeah she is the best puppy in the world and I really love her but she is not taking no for an answer and I tried to tell her that we have to yeah go on with the tour but as you can see she didn't take no for an answer but let's move on with our tour and I wanted to show you what is inside but I had some trouble opening the left door and this is the only problem that this shelf has but it's okay it's opening up if I have my hands free but it was pretty difficult to open the door with one hand and having my puppy like there as well but I have my oracle card decks there and some astrology books and then on the right side I have my tarot card decks that I don't use frequently I have some fake ivy some fairy lights and here I have some crafting supplies and I could manage to open the right door but yeah there is a lot of crafting supplies some air drying um, clay I have some pearls and beads that I love to use some wooden thingies that I also like to use and these little toadstool mushrooms that I want to use in an upcoming project so yeah this is my shelf and I really love it I think it's pretty cute and I love the aesthetic of it and yeah I hope you enjoyed it I just decided to refilm this portion of the video so you can have the uncluttered version of this part of my sleeping room and I'm going to show you everything in detail so let's get into it shall we all right so this is basically what you see when you wake up and you look to your right when you are in bed and I have one of my favorite pieces that I thrifted here this was about eight euro and it's just a beautiful little um, storage space that I yeah thrifted and picked up by myself and I have always books sitting around here this on top is my dream journal I have a book about weekend kitchery and I have two fantasy books because I only read fantasy otherwise than um, yeah, knowledge books or something like that. We also have my sea salt lamp here that I really love. I have it I think since 15 years and it just makes the best light. I don't even turn on normal light in the sleeping room. I only always have this little guy on and one of my favorite things in the whole world, like my biggest amethyst that I own. And it's about 15 kilograms so you would think it's super expensive but actually I got it pretty cheap when there was a sale and one crystal shop closed down and yeah I just got it really really cheap I think they were 50% off so you would get huge amethysts for like 600 700 euros so yeah this was much cheaper by the way and then when you come a little bit further to the left from where you are looking you have this place and this is one of my favorite places of all times it's also one of the first places I ever owned I only had this cabinet when I moved in I got it for 10 euros online and picked it up and I also bought this one in the same thrift shop online and this was also about like 10 euros I will show you again in a minute but we have on this little corner my pumpkin sea salt um, thingy and I thought it's perfect for marbon we have some fluoride hanging out this is um, yeah a jar that you can fill up by yourself and it has place for a candle so I thought that would be really cool for spells that have a specific purpose and you can Visually remind yourself what this spell is about we also have some rose hips that I collected you saw in the last video and these are little pumpkins in case you are wondering 
they are dried little pumpkins. No, I don't know how they do it, but they are just the cutest thing ever and they look so much like autumn, so I really wanted to have them here. This is some citron and this was also from a flea market for about 4 euro, which is pretty cheap because you can see it's pretty big. And we have an incense holder and I think this is called a candle sniffer snuffer. I don't know, I had it in a last video and I realized I should just make my own witchy dictionary to never forget English words that I need to talk to you guys. <laughs> but we also have this figure and I really love this one. This was my first of these. And this is a mermaid hugging an angel. And to me this represents the soulmate connection, twin flame connection that I'm looking for. We also have some ivy. And it's starting to make roots, so that is pretty cute. And we have, again, my little drawer. You can open it. There is some stuff inside, not that much. But I just keep random stuff in here. I'm starting to declutter even my altar spaces. Yeah, because I don't like clutter. I just realized how much I cannot work or function when there is clutter. And we also have my most used tarot and oracle card decks. So this is a really cute one that is really popular in Germany or has been really popular. And these two you saw in my last vlog. So if you haven't, go check it out because I'm showing them there. And I will link it. I think it's up here. Oh my god, I feel like a real YouTuber now. <laughs> okay, okay. But then we also have this place you also already saw. This is where I place my oracle card of the day. And this one I found on a walk or the walk through the forest that you also saw in this vlog. And it just reminded me so much of a dragon scale. Like, can you imagine from the tail? So I thought this is perfect for the dragon power card. And it just made me feel like... Okay, maybe this card or this dragon power is all about shedding your old skin and yeah, just allowing yourself to grow bigger. So this was my reminder and the sign that I kind of, um, yeah, used it for. And then we have this one. This is from my childhood. My mother gave it to me and I feel like it's just basically me always um, in this figure <laughs> because I also always read and talked to my animals and played so this is really cute for my inner child and here is just another offering ball with rose hips and these dried cute little pumpkins and we have a candle holder I'm so sad I didn't get two of these sets because they were pretty cheap and I thought I only need one because I started to decide and not always buy too many things because if there is two colors I will buy two because I cannot decide so yeah I wanted to stop doing that and we also have this moon face hanger with witch candles no witch bells they are called witch bells and I know they belong at a door um, but I just thought they are really cute here and this is supposed to hang over a door as well it's for protection I think and this is something, a dream catcher. This um, was made for me. And it was part of a um, swap. So this was in the box that I received. It was about 15 years ago. So yeah, really, really back in the day. When I first started, it was more Mori clothes back then. Like the Japanese fashion that reminds you of the forest. Because Mori in Japanese is um, forest. So this is how I started off my journey. And these are some calendars from the Goddess Provision boxes that I stopped subscribing at some point. But yeah, this is this place. I really, really love it. I love the marble decoration. And then when you go down here, you have two of my favorite new thrift finds. I don't know how you call them, but they are also existing in bigger sizes so I can imagine it's really cute when you have some tea party and you put some cupcakes on here so I always wanted these this was about 15 euros so not that cheap but I really love it we have this little guy and I want to use it for a crystal charging or as a crystal charging station you can let me check you can open it 
up so as you can see I also have to clean it but this is that and please ignore this part it's actually it does not belong here as you can see um, but I don't have space in my apartment so I do what I can as a practical witch and this is another bottle that I thought is really cute for moon water and stuff but this is my favorite place as well <laughs> I feel like this corner again is also probably the best part of my apartment but this is a real secretary, an antique secretary that I got. This was about 85 euro, so pretty, pretty expensive. But yeah, I thought it's perfect and I love it. And when we start from the top, you can see my shamanic stuff and my wands. This is a shamanic rattle. And this is what you can use for when you are, for example, um, using herbs or stuff to cleanse the space and then you can use it to yeah spread the smoke and these are the wands and this one I got from Etsy this is my very first wand that I really love I think she made a beautiful job and I also have this one that I really love and this is from a witch casket box so I really love it and yeah they are hanging out here and I just have this little hack in case you also have these kind of things that you don't know where to display. And you can just use a jar and you can fill it up with things that look good to you. So in my case there is like shells and gemstones. And in that way you have a storage <laughs> for these kind of things. So that is pretty cute. We also have another bottle for moon water or sun water or something like that this was like one euro in a one euro shop and i found this one this actually belonged to the um, see-through bottle you saw at the bottom so these two belong together but i figured it out they would be much cuter so yeah they are a match now we also have a pumpkin this one you can actually eat and i'm going to eat it um yeah because i love pumpkin we have the other sea salt, or this is like pepper, I think, um, that you saw in the hall. We have rose hips. We have my golden friends here that I don't know in English. And we have some yeah, leaves that I found that are just so cute. Again, dried pumpkins. And we have a fairy retreat home, <laughs> is what I call it. And um, this is the offering to the fairies so they can rest here if they want. There is some moss inside and some rose petals to make it smell good for them. And when you go down, there is just some random grass things and some leaves to decorate. We have a golden pumpkin holder. I think it's just so cute. I love golden for marble decoration. I also found these yesterday. So this is dried corn. They were like a euro or something like that. We also have some dried grass that I collected. You saw in the video. And then there is some dried herbs. This is sage. Excuse me, my friend. It's not your time right now. We have some sage. Um, we have, I don't know how this is called in English. I will check it up. And this is also something, I don't know, in German it's called Kobalt and this is Wermut. Um, this is something you can also use to cleanse spaces or yourself. And it looks like stones, but actually you can break it off into little pieces. And you should only use little pieces because otherwise the whole room is full of smoke. And this is just some random rose hips and they are dried so I keep them because they still smell pretty amazing. You can open this drawer, there is my candles inside, I have my shamanic mask that you also saw, I think it was the second vlog, The Life of a Witch episode 2, there is some sage inside as well. Then we have some charcoal I think it's called to use to cleanse spaces or yourself. I have to find out how this is called, the act of cleansing. Um, and we have some incense um, sticks. And this is for ink you can use. I also have the pen to write, but I don't know where I put it. So this is basically that. I have to clean this one as well. And we have some selenite which shows the zodiac signs because I'm an astrologer as well. But this is what it looks like. I think it's really, really cute. And when you go to the left, so let's move a little bit to the left. 
Okay, there you go. So this is my cleansing station. As I described, you can fire up <laughs> this charcoal and then you put on, when, it's when it turned gray, you put your herbs on and then it's basically doing all the stuff for you. I use this to hold the charcoal and this is also, in case you are wondering if you have something on, you can remove it so it stops smoking. And this is just a lightener that is not pretty so I removed the plastic from the top and then we have this place and these are also two of my most favorite thrift finds ever I have this one they are called Setzkasten in German so please editing um, <laughs> BB please include it down what it's called in English but we also have this bell that I use when I cleanse the spaces, which is due today. We have a fossil that I found when I was really, really young. There is two pieces actually, and it looks like a rock. You put them together. So this is one of my favorite things. Fossils are a great sign to remind you to ground yourself or of knowledge. So I always love to keep them here. And I love the little details here on my yeah, storage space thingy. Again, I'm including what it's called, Sets Kasten. <laughs> but we have another ornament my late grandmother did. And I just love to honor her because she was basically the person that I was closest to in my family. This is a pentagram that I made. And I will also include what the tree is. I found them on the floor. Again, I didn't break it. But they were freshly cut, so I just took one. And this is a mushroom, as you can see. And then there is some random stuff inside. I love collecting stones. So I feel like this is from Stone Age or something, because it looks like someone did something to it, or it's just really well, it just really well broke. Then I have some, maybe I can show you this as well. I always collect like seeds and stuff, so I have some dandelion, dandelion is the right word, right? So these are the seeds. And I also have this spoon that I really love, I think it's just so magical. I don't use it to make tea, I just use it to measure or something. So yeah, pretty pretty cute. So again, let's put everything in here. Because I know it looks not like there is a system. There is a system. <laughs> but then there is some... I think there's a citron. Should be citron, yeah. And then we have some... I'm not taking it out, but this is black salt. Because I don't want to yeah, destroy this arrangement that I did. I have this little guy that I don't know. I think it's to put in liquids. And you can actually... Let me show you. Like use it so I feel like it could be for perfume or something and I thought it's just really really beautiful so I want to keep it here I have this rock that I found no I didn't find it I think it was included in a box this should be hmm, tourmaline or obsidian I don't know one of these two maybe I have another witch bell that is really cute and I also have something to yeah, stamp when you make letters or you have a wax spell or something, then you can use these ones. And I really want to get more into this kind of magic. So yeah, this is what is in here. We have a nail, a black nail. I think it's iron, iron nail. So you can use it for protection jar spells or something or to, um, yeah, write something in your candles this is I don't know what this is to be honest this should be an obsidian pyramid again really dusty because today is my cleaning day I should have done this video afterwards but this is the real life guys I also have some stones that I don't know what they are but I found them and I thought they look like they are from the moon so I wanted to keep them and then we have some other crystal clear quartz. We have a mini cauldron that is one of my favorite things in the world. I just think it's the cutest thing ever. So this is that. 
then there are some more stones and fossils a little bird on an amethyst this is a little yeah thingy for makeup and stuff that my father got me we have some i don't know how they are called in, in english it's buntkiesel is what i learned which i think they are kind of not that glamorous but still glamorous if you know what i mean we have this one that i think it's really cool as well and again another one of these little weird stones that i feel like they were yeah turned into something and this is my favorite um, crystal as well it looks like a moon as you can tell we have a little candle holder that looks like a Ouija board, a black candle, and that's basically this part of, yeah, my altar space. So, all right, now I'm going to show you the last portion of this little corner of my apartment. And it's this kind of key holder that I recently thrifted for like seven euros. And you can open it up, which is pretty cool sorry for the noise but you can open it up and inside i just put some bracelets so let me see if i can open it up with one hand and not throwing everything from up there so this is just what i put inside to make it clear on top there is just some oil rosemary oil i love to yeah smell it to calm myself down or in case i want to relax a little toadstool mushroom friend and this is one of my favorite yeah decoration items it's these three birds and birds started to show up in three like in three groups or like in groups of three this is how you say it for a um, period of time so I don't know what this was about to be honest but yeah just keep it there until the message is clear I have little um, yeah plates to put on jewelry or something like that. This is a hematite bracelet I made. And then we have my mushroom um, picture that I got off Amazon for like I think 10 euros or so. It's not that good of a quality but I still love it. And we have a letter holder. And um, right now there is tea and a candle inside to make it look nice but I use this to write letters to my spirit guides. This is the jewelry box you always see in videos and this is just a random display where I put tarot cards or oracle cards that I get with orders or letters from friends or clients or something like that. So this is that corner of my apartment. I really love it. It's just so whimsical, magical and I hope this gives you inspiration that you can basically turn everything into a sacred space and as you can maybe see this is my meditation place so this is really sacred to me I wish I could put stuff on here but I know my puppy and she will try to destroy it <laughs> and yeah I really hope it gives you inspiration that you can study your sacred space or your altar wherever you don't need a lot of space this is like basically just my clothes inside and I put my altar on top I'm currently looking for a um, bureau or a secretary is what you call it in Germany but actually yeah I have no space as you can maybe tell my apartment is full yeah here are my clothes hello <laughs> can you please hide for the aesthetics but yeah I really hope you enjoy it and then my microphone died so maybe that's a sign of the universe that I should not use it anymore because I could hear that the quality is not that good but nevertheless, I really hope you enjoyed the altar space tour and I hope it could give you some inspiration. I had so much fun filming these and my puppy as well. So I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and do the YouTube magic. And yeah, see you next week. Bye bye.